Hi guys and welcome to our Capstone project. In this project, we'll be building a networking tool called Reverse Shell. So what exactly is a Reverse Shell? Reverse Shell is a way to connect to anyone's personal computer anywhere in the world. It uses the concept of reverse connection which we discussed in the basics of networking section in the video of direct and reverse connections. So for example, let's say you are in China and your friend is sitting somewhere in Texas and he wants some help with his computer. So you can just connect to his PC using our tool which you are going to build called reverse shell and fix the problems. That's one of the main use cases of a reverse shell. Another popular use of reverse shell, though not very ethical, is for hackers who want to gain access to someone's PC without his or hers knowledge. So what they do is that they spread this reverse shell program around by giving a free CD or pen drive in front of Walmart or something and you pop in the pen drive thinking, hey, I wonder what's in this and boom, now they have access to your computer. You'll also gain a practical knowledge of Python networking while working on this project and coding your project in Python. To give you a better overview of what we are going to be building, we are going to be creating or coding these two files. The first file is called server.py and the second file is called client.py. So the server.py is going to be installed on a cloud server that we are going to be hosting on DigitalOcean and the client.py is going to be installed on your friend's computer who you want to help or if you are some kind of crazy hacker, you are going to be installing this file onto the victim's computer. So for example, let's say if you are a hacker, you'll install this client.py file onto a pen drive and give it to your victim. Obviously you can convert this Python file to an exe or an executable file and whenever the victim plugs the pen drive into his computer, that file will get installed and it will run in the background. So this client.py file will always be running in the victim's computer background. And whenever it starts to run, it will connect to the server.py file into the hacker's computer, that is the hacker's server. Now that the hacker has a connection to the victim's computer, he can send commands like make a directory or show the files or delete a file onto the victim's computer and all that actions will happen on the victim's computer. Or if you want to help a friend, for example, he doesn't know how to, let's say for this example, create a folder, then you can send a command to his computer of making a directory and the directory will be automatically created onto your friend's computer. This tool is called a reverse shell and we are going to be building this in the next couple of videos. So I'll see you over there.